Hello, in the previous video lecture, we learned uh, how we can minimally represent a uh, transfer function with a block diagram representation. Okay, so for a general third order transfer function, okay, this is third order, uh, we learn a technique called standard programming or canonical realization one, which will give a complete description of the block diagram dynamics with minimum number of uh, delay elements, c to the power minus one. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so we, it's a third order transfer function, so it should have at most three delay elements, or ex exactly three delay elements, okay. In today's lecture, we will learn a different realization technique, which is called canonical realization two. Okay, I call it canonical realization two. It is uh, somewhat related with the first realization, and I will talk about this connection later. But the idea is it will give a different representation, uh, but it will have the uh, same number of delay elements, and of course, it will give us the same uh, input path to dynamical representation. Okay. So uh, in this relation, I will use an analytical uh, derivation technique instead of block diagram manipulations uh, to teach how we can do it analytically. Okay, so let's start with the uh, transfer function and let's try to organize this transfer function in terms of yz equal xz and of course a couple of coefficients. Okay, so y of z times 1 plus a1z to power minus 1 plus a2z to power minus 2 plus a3 c to the power minus 3 is equal to x of z, okay, b0 plus b1 z to the power minus 1 plus b2 z to the power minus 2 plus b3 z to the power minus 3. Okay, let's change the color. Uh, so at this phase, what I will going to do is, first of all, I will y of z, leave y of z alone here because, because the, it's the ultimate output, okay? I will push everything to this side and try to organize the terms which has uh, sharing the same number of delay elements. Okay, so I, we will combine a1, yz with b1, x of 0. Similarly, we will do the same thing for the uh, 2 and 3. Okay, so first of all, we have b0, x of z, which is alone. Okay, this is the direct connection between input and output. It's not the dynamical part. Okay, later what we are going to do is z to power minus 1, okay, a1, not a1, let's clean it, okay, it's a1, but let's change it, uh, b1, x of z, minus a1, y of z, okay, so this minus is critical because it's coming from the, uh, uh, the, the, the denominator equation and it is inherently a feedback operation, okay, plus z to power minus 2, b2 x of z plus, not plus, again, I forget that, sorry, I also did mistakes, change the color, minus a2 y of z, okay, so plus z to power minus 3, uh, b3 x of z minus a3 y of z. Okay, yeah. so output is a function of input, couple of coefficients, and uh, three z to the power minus n terms. One is one, one is two, and one is three. Okay, but uh, if we try to uh, implement a block diagram -like representation from this expression, we will have six different delay blocks because three is coming from here, two is coming from there, and one is coming from z to the power minus one, and it won't be minimal. So what are we going to do is we will manipulate this expression such that we will only have three z to the power minus one terms. Okay we will ha have only three delay elements by grouping the z to the power minus one as uh, much as possible. Okay, so let's do that. y of z is equal to, let's change the color again, b0 x of z plus, let's open a giant parenthesis here. Okay, it's gi giant, okay. z to the power minus one. Okay, the z to the power minus and we have one here one year, one year. So what I can do is b1 x of z minus a1 y of z. Okay, this is good. So since z to power minus one, we just uh, removed one from this. I can write z to power minus one for this and z to power minus one, uh, two for that. But instead what I do is I write another z to power minus one here and open a different parenthesis like this. Okay, 
So one is here, one is here. So I don't need anything for dash. So it is b two x of z minus a two y of z plus. Okay. So we had three z to power minus one three uh, one terms inside z to power minus three. One from here, one from here. I only need to write one z to power minus one b three x of z minus a three y of z. Okay. So. We have a different expression, but the same expression, of course. Uh, but now we have one, two, three z to the power minus one terms. Other than that, we have coefficients and signals, input and output. We know that input is just feedforward term, and output is coming to, from the feedback terms. And we have the delay elements or memory elements z to the power minus one. Let's have a clean look of the expression. It looks like this. So by looking at this mathematical giant expression, we will simply construct the block diagram, which is uh, very easy indeed. Okay, so we have x of z here, x of z, and let's put y of z here. Okay, and we will start from inside and uh, slowly go outside. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, I need to multiply x of z with b3. I can do that. Okay, b3. Uh, multiply y of z with a3. I can do that also. It's not a big deal. Okay, this is a3. I need to subtract b3 x of z minus a3 y of z. Just difference operation. Okay, I can do that. This is like this is plus, this is minus. It is a summation operation. Now I obtain a signal. Let's call it, I don't know, h of z. Something like that. Okay. So I need to multiply h of z with z to the power minus 1, okay, z to the power minus 1, to obtain any signal, let's call h2 of z, I don't know, okay, now let's call this h of z, okay, so uh, what I need to do is, in this parenthesis, I need to sum b2 x of z, a minus a2 y of z, plus this expression, so I need a summation operation, this is plus, this is plus, I have b2, it is coming like this, okay, this is minus because I have a2, and it is coming from this, that's great, right, okay, so, and I now obtain, let's clean this, this expression, okay, let's call it a of c. So what I need to do is I need to multiply a of z with a delay operation, which is simply this, z to the power minus 1. OK, I obtain this. Now let's clean that again. OK, so I have this. OK, so I need to have a summing operation between b1x of z minus a1y of z. And this giant expression is called b of z. So I need a different. Uh, summing operators. This is sum. This is b1. This is a1. It goes like this. Okay, it goes like this. That's great. Okay. As you can see, the, it's pretty algorithmic and it's pretty easy. So I obtain this. Let's call it c of c. I need to multiply c of c with another delay operation c to the power minus 1, okay, this is here, and I need to add z, this part that's called d of c with b 0 x c. okay, this is plus, this is plus, this is b0, and it goes to y of c, okay, so this is the whole picture, so let's analyze it, I have three delay elements, they're in the middle, uh, I have coefficients in this side which uh, belong to the uh, numerators, and I have coefficients here which belong to the numerator or the feedback term. Okay. So as you can see, it's a similar structure. Let's look at the final uh, picture, but it's a slightly different approach. Okay. So we have b0, b1, b2, b3, and similarly a1, a2, and a3. Okay. Let's remember our previous canonical realization. It looks like this. Okay. So Still, in this case, 
the z to power minus bar are in the middle. But we kind of change the numerator and denominator coefficients. And also when we also change the orders. What we do is, as you can see, b0 was here and b3 was here. We technically take the transpose. It's not exactly taking the transpose because it's a block diagram. We take the mirror uh, of the Kanaka realization 1 to obtain the mirror of the Kanaka realization 2. OK, so if you remember, I told that Kanaka realization one, if we build a state space structure from that realization, it will be in controllable canonical form. Okay. So realization one will give us a state space representation in controllable canonical form. So if I use canonical realization two to obtain a state space representation, it will be in observable canonical form. And if you remember, uh, there's a duality and similarity between controlled kind forms and uh, observed kind of forms uh, in the state space, such that we just take the transpose of the A matrix. Uh, and C matrix of one operation uh, is the uh, transpose of the B matrix of other representation. Okay, so the idea is they are both minimal canonical representations. They are closely related with each other, but still we use a different technique to build the realization. 